Hello and welcome to the series of tutorials on City Energy Analysis. Now that we, that we have your, uh, our input for the building geometry, we have to populate our inputs with the, also the building properties. So that's what we're going to learn next. Uh, so first of all, you can see all the geometry here and each building corresponds to a unique labeling ID. So in this case, it's 1021. In this case, you can see the name as B1026. Uh, you can also see the references because uh, some of them are taken directly from OpenStreetMaps. So you can see as, as it is for the reference. Other requires some assumptions and you can see them uh, also clear, clearly below. If you scroll down, you're going to see uh, multiple tabs with the inputs. They are still not uh, available, all of them. So what you have to do first, we strongly advise that you check the geometry of your buildings. So to see if it's corresponding to reality. And one way that you can do is if you click on a specific building, filter on selection, you're going to see this exact building here. And you can directly edit it on the dashboard. Or if you have multiple buildings that you want to edit, you click on the left click and hold the control. You click on other buildings and then you're able to edit the selection for all of those buildings at once. So you can change their heights or number of floors, maintain the ones that you want to keep and press OK. So they will be all changed here. Make sure you save all your changes. And once you're happy with your geometry, you can proceed to the next step, which is specifies the building standards, which we're going to explain in more detail what they is when they deal with the database. But you can already see some uh, options here that you can choose and the usage type, which you can choose up to three uses and assign different percentages for every building. So by default, the uh, city energy analyst is just going to choose 100% of usage uh, based on OpenStreetMaps when available, otherwise making assumptions. So we also strongly advise our users to check on that. And if necessary, they can change by the same procedure described before. We can select different buildings or we can even select all of them and look in case there are some specific ones that we need to change, we follow the same procedure as before. And we can change them for a different use type. You can also use this window if you prefer to. Make sure you save the changes as well. Next, for the other inputs, CA uh, has its own database which we will explore more in later sessions. And you can have it by, if you click, you can populate those by running the archetypes mapper, which is also available into our simulation tools under data management archetypes helper. So that's the first tool that has to be run. Uh, it holds many scripts. So we, in order to populate all of them, we select all our, all our groups of uh, input databases and run the script. So a job is going to be created and you can say, check more information here. You can observe that it's going to run for all the buildings that we listed. If you want, you can choose only specific buildings to be populated. Now that the script is completed, you can come back to your database editor, to your input editor, sorry, and confirm that now you have created all the properties for your buildings related to the database that was already existent in City Energy Analyst.